Okay, so for this one, we're doing a, just an experiment. We want to see if experimental results match our predictions. Now, the easiest way to do this type of problem is to create a null hypothesis. Because even if you think, if you recall, we did pill bugs. Even if you think they're going to prefer the dark to the light, how are you going to make a hypothesis? If you think they prefer the dark, what are you going to say? They're all going to be in the dark. Half of them are going to be in the dark. You're not really going to know what to predict. So instead, you're going to make a null hypothesis that basically just says pill bugs will not be affected or something along those lines. They will not be affected by the amount of light. That way, if it does fail the chi-square, you have proven that there is a statistical difference, that they do seem to have a preference. So we are putting them in, in a dish. It has four separate chambers. One's dark, 40% shaded, 60% shaded, and fully lit. So these are going to be our four possibilities. Dark, uh, what was it, 40, 60% shade, and then fully lit. We're going to do our same thing, observed, expected, chi-square. The only thing that's going to be different in this one is whenever you do a null hypothesis, you're predicting that there's going to be no difference. By predicting there's no difference, it makes it really easy to make your predictions. So we had 84 bugs, and we predicted 30, 20, 24, and 10. 30, I'm sorry, 20, 20, this is our observed. So what you're going to do for this, uh, for expected, a null hypothesis says there'll be no difference. So for an expected and a null hypothesis, you always just take your total and divide it by the number of options. That means we expect there to be the same number in each because if they're unaffected by light, they should randomly just end up scattered equally. So 84 divided by 4 is 21. So here's our prediction, 21 in each one. And now we do our chi-square just like we did before. Okay, so if you work this out, these are the four numbers you should get. You add it up and you got 10.1. Just like before, we're going to take our chi-square, we're going to go to the chart. 10.1, we're going to look at row 3. There were four options of where they could be. Number of options minus 1 gives us 3. And 10.1 falls over here between the 5 and 1%. Here's our cutoff, 5%. And so this basically says that we are going to reject our null hypothesis. And what that really means in a case like this is that there was a statistical difference. In other words, we have found in our results that it does seem like there's a preference to go towards dark or light or there's something. And we could then go from there and experiment further to figure out what they prefer. So that's how you do a chi-square test.